everybody. Welcome to week nine of my countdown to Christmas. This week I have these itty bitty little gift boxes to show you how to make and inside I have these little candles and they are again where I get all my good gifts at ba from Bath and Body Works. But I think you could make this box adjust to anything that you're using. Um, I always start when I'm trying to figure out a box figuring out the size of the, the gift. And this one I had to figure out the size of the lid because it was pretty wide. Um, and so when you're making a box, when you're trying to make a box, you start with the square. And I this one was, I needed two and an eighth inch square. And then every square on the, on the other sides of it was gonna be two and an eighth inches by however tall. And this just happened to be two inches tall. So my square is six and an eighth inch by six and an eighth inch and I scored it two inches on every single side. Then I went back to make the little flaps. Let me show you. And I just did a quarter of an inch. So here's two inches and actually four and an eighth inch on this side. But when you turn it, you do two, 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 and two. So now that I have it in here, I'm just gonna go a quarter inch on either side of that score line. Okay, oops. To make the little flaps like we did uh, two weeks ago on the, the soap holder. All right, so quickly I'm going to cut these out. And for time's sake, I already put the sticky strip on there. You definitely want to use sticky strip on something like this because snail will not hold it. And you can see that I cut in on that flap because it's going to need to fold away from, from that piece. Okay. So let's get all of those cut out and I will show you where I have, let's see, did I cut that one out? Snip that one in right there. All right, so on the back you can see where I put my sticky strip. I wanna make sure that all of my folds are perfectly folded so that the box will come together really well. And actually, this is going to be the front of the box because I wrote on that side. So let me refold these this way. But when you make when you make yours, you won't have to worry about that because you won't have written on yours. All right, so let me take these off. And the first thing I'm going to do, well, now I've got to refold them that way, is line them up here. And I don't want you to worry about how perfect your box is. I will tell you that my boxes are never perfect. I think that just speaks to my lack of attention to detail. I actually when trying to come up with this box, it took me about six or seven tries to get it as close to perfect as I could. But I don't think the gift receiver will be too worried about your box being perfect. And we're going to cover up these edges anyway, so it won't really matter. All right, so there you've got your box and your little thing fits down in there. To make the lid, you're going to need a piece of the same color. This one is Marina Mist, this is Old Olive, and this one is Real Red. Use whatever. I've tried to, you know, kind of make it go a little bit with a candle. This piece for the lid is two and an eighth inches by five inches, and I scored it at two inches and four and an eighth. And I'm going to put some sticky strip. Let's see, I want that to be on the inside because I wrote on it. So I'm going to put sticky strip on this side. Alright, now for my little flap over here, I kind of like to cut these corners off to make sure that it fits. Okay, alright. Now, before, actually before I do that, I'm going to take, and you'll see why in a second, this label bracket uh, punch, I believe is what it's called, and I'm going to try to get it as close to center as I can, and I'm just eyeballing it, but if, if you really want it to be perfect, get your ruler out and measure and put a dot in the middle and you'll be able to get it. So see, mine's pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to put this right in here and push it down. And this so far is how the lid will close. And you can see, not perfect, but we're going to use a bow. We're going to hold it together and it'll still be cute. Okay, so now we need a piece of window sheet. And this piece is two inches by two inches. Okay, and I'm going to put it right in there, and I'm using the Tombow um, Multi-Glue, and I'm just going to put a dot there and there and there, and glue that in right like that. Now while I wait for that to dry, I'm going to get my scalloped border punch, 
scalloped edge punch. I can't rem ever remember which one it's called, um, but I'll list it in the, the supplies and materials. And this is an eight and a half inch piece of Whisper White by, I believe it was three quarters of an inch, and I have put sticky strip on it. And I'm going to start right here at the edge and just cover up any inconsistencies I may have with my lining things up. Make it cute. No one will ever know. All right, there we go. All right, now I'm going to use this little stamp right here. And I wish I could remember what the name of it is. And I will, again, write that in the instructions. But I'm going to stamp it this time to match my box. Old Olive. Punch it on, or stamp it on Whisper White. Stamp first. Punch second, always. And punch these out. And I'm going to use a dimensional to put it right on top of my candle. And it'll be like that, okay? So you'll see it through the little window. Now to finish it off, and I kind of was like, eh, I don't like those edges being so open. Well, my window sheet is not quite glued in. But you get the idea. You'll have to let that dry. All right. Then I'm going to take a piece. This time I'm trying to use um, ribbon that coordinates. This is Old Olive Taffeta Ribbon. On the other ones I use Cherry Cobbler. Um seam binding and the new silver ribbon that's in the holiday catalog. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of tie a bow on here to make it look a little fancier. You know, it's a pretty simple box for a little gift that was, I think they were three for ten dollars, pretty cheap. But it makes a nice little gift to let somebody know that you're thinking about them on Christmas. Alright, so there you have it, all three of them. Aren't they cute? Alright guys, well I hope you've enjoyed this project and I will see you next week. Have a great one. Bye bye.